Hey folks, it's Samantha once again, and welcome to a video that's not really an unpackaging video, but it's a video. I received a gift in the mail from a very nice day named John. He's no one here on YouTube as the Flying Ninja One, but I made a DVDR of my edit of Hard Target, which you can see a little bit right there. Um, let's see, don't fuck up. There you go. But you need to see my face, so there you go. If you're wondering why I'm laying down, it's because of the next movie I'm going to review, which I really enjoy, but this one of those films is how to lay down afterward. But getting to this film, not film, but I did an edit, like I said in my Hard Target review, that I had a word print and theatrical and I edited my own version. He wanted a copy. I sent it to him. And he was nice enough. To, he sent me two things. He sent me a DVD called Dog House, which I reviewed. I wanted to review it as soon as possible so that he didn't wait too long. And then he bought me this, which was on my Amazon wish list. And it's a book I was really looking forward to. That is the VHS Video Cover Arts. And this says... Ford by Justin Ishmael, Thomas Hodge, The Dude Designs. But yeah, VHS video cover art. I remember saying quite a few times, man, I wish there was a book that had, book that had VHS video cover art. And granted, this is VHS cover art from the UK, so it doesn't have that nostalgia factor of all oh, being in the video stores and seeing a lot of these covers because... Again, these were the covers used in the UK. Some of them are the same as the ones in the US. Some are not. But still, it's a lot of great artwork, which they do not do nowadays. Well, once in a while on uh, like Stream Factory and other stuff, but that's the back of it. I hope they. I hope this continues. I hope we get more of these type of books. There's a volume two, volume three. Hopefully, maybe even put some US. Maybe dig with the studios and be able to put more. I, I hope this continues. I hope we get more of this. I hope this is. It's just not, oh, it's one and done and that's it. The reason I held it up so long was so you could see the pictures on the side. But a lot of good reviews Ty West who's a director establishes himself as the foremost authority in VHS box art you can't judge a film by its box cover but if you could these would be the greatest films of all time Jason Eisner who directed Hobo with a Shotgun when Tom sent me the poster for Hobo with a Shotgun I knew from there that I met an artist who was on the same page and speaking my language oh he did that okay Josh Johnson rewind this Artwork became a vital part of my rental ritual. This book is not just a clutch of images, but a gateway to a different frame of mind. Dan Kinnam of Adjust Your Tracking. Look at the, the two documentaries on the VHS tapes. If you miss the days of your youth, when video stores still existed, then you owe it to yourself to relive that experience through these pages. Lloyd Kaufman of Trauma. VHS covers our art, and the spirit of a movie depends on creativity. <clears throat> Really enough, this actually came with a bookmark called Schiffer Publishing. Re really enough, but it's kind of hard to re review a book. I mean, how do you review a book other than maybe to show some pages? Okay. Make sure it's in frame. Contents, action, horror, sci-fi, comedy, kids, and thrillers. And this is just an insanely cool book. Again, if you're at all a fan of VHS cover arts, this is well worth a look. It's like, well, what the hell do I start first? I mean, you have, for example, look at this film, The Annihilators. Right? 
The war is over, but the battle is just beginning. The Annihilator is an elite, synchronized fighting machine that will stop at nothing. Let's see, let's see if this actually that actually works like this. The Annihilator, the, the Annihilators, hardened by the cruel realities of war, return to the States. In South Point, Georgia, they come across a group of crazed urban terrorists who, armed to the teeth with sophisticated weaponry, think nothing of killing innocent people. The Annihilators step in to help, but when two of their own are savagely cut down, their course becomes clear. They must step in nothing and live up to their name. The Annihilators, an elite, synchronized fighting machine that will stop at nothing from New World Video. With Christopher Stone and Andy Wood. Who the hell is Andy Wood? Says he was in Rambo 2, but who the hell is Andy Wood? But just a lot of really cool cover art. He was a cop. Now he's a runner. Bonsai runner. I don't even know what the hell that movie is, but if I saw that cover back in the day, I'd be like, shit, let me check that out. Yeah. Blood and Guts, Heavy Thunder. This is a weird-ass weird cover. This is just... I know my friend Mike definitely has to get this book. He's a big VHS guy. You know, Challenge the Ninja, Death Code Ninja... Cocaine Wars. I mean, look at that cover. The movie's not as good as this cover, but man, that's a pretty badass cover. John Schneider from Dukes of Hazzard going Rambo. And he never wears, I don't think he ever wears that get up, but. Just a lot of fun covers. I mean, like double target. Imagine having guns like that and then actually having that in a movie. That's the thing with VHS covers is that... Say, that's not in the movie? Oh, okay. I gotta show you something. You see this, right? Now, take a look at this. What does he... What does this remind you of? Holy shit, it's Cobra 2! No, not really. Like, there's a post of Cobra 2. There you go! Slide got thinner! It is even called Enforcer 2. I mean. Holy shit, Slide, what happened to you? Just crazy. <laughs> they just ripped off. The poster of Cobra. Oh, this is a nice one of Eye of the Tiger. Underrated film with Gary Busey. That is a pretty cool cover art. Again, I would prefer if it was the U.S. VHS covers, because I do prefer the cover that's... Uh, I'm not sure if it was on the VHS, but it was on the DVD in that four pack. But I still like that cover. But I mean, you got like the Intruder. You got L.A. Street Fighters. Like, look at this L.A. Street Fighters one. This is so badass. This is so fantastic. I wish there was a Encyclopedia Britannica, like a series of these books, or Grally. Every one of them, man. Nam Angels, never too young to die. No Retreat, No Surrender 2. Which, the Baghdad doesn't really look like that. And No Retreat, No Surrender 2. Uh, Matthias Hughes. But, uh... Still, man. I mean, you got payoff time. Project A. Of course, rolling vengeance. Always use the right tool for the job.
rolling vengeance. I mean, that's just badass. I'm just flipping through, like, for sort of the kids section. This is, I'm not sure, is this technically a kids movie? But Fire and Ice, and then Garbage Pill Kids movie, which, yes, Stream Factory, for some fucking reason, is given this a collector's edition. I have no idea why. This movie doesn't deserve it, but fuck do I know. This is going through it. I mean, you got this one, which here in the U.S. is called Raiders of Atlantis, which is still a really there you go. Really, damn it, really cool cover. My friend Mike OCP knows this movie. Team of the Streets. This is a film I think this is a film that my friend Mike was ready to turn down the tear down the movie screen. Oh no more. Actually he was thinking of uh, something else, but No more Where can I find evil? Do you know evil? Just a lot of really cool cover arts. I mean... Sorry, I know you're not seeing anything, but... Just so many here, I'm like, which one do I pick? Maybe some horror. I don't think I've seen... I've done, showed any horror yet. There's some good horror that I can show. Let's see. Let's see, let's see if I can pick some. Let's see, we got Slaughterhouse. Sludge, which, that's pretty cool. There's the front and back. Sludge taking over both. Oh. Pretty decent film, Cameron's Closet. Cool cover. They even have comedies in there too. The th again, it's only two. Uh, it's uh, let me see. Technically, how many pages is this? Last page says two hundred and sixty-four pages. And there's a couple of pages of the intro to the book so still over two over 260 pages which is a lot of pages that's why I like to see more so we can see more of this stuff much more and I want a whole even have the Rambo cartoon but like I mean I would love to see, like, even the VHS to the Rambo films and the Rocky films and all, heart, you know, all that stuff. Grant, I know you can just find them online, I understand, but it's nice to see it in a book like this. It's just something physical that you could just actually physically have right here in your hands. Like, for example, well, here is the Willies. Because I like that. I like that idea. I don't know if this will, if they'll do more of these or what. Let's see. I'm trying to think of maybe a comedy. What's a comedy that can work? Can't show some of these because some of these actually have tits on them. <laughs> really enough. Well, maybe not really enough, but a lot of movies I've never even heard of. Oh, one that I think is underrated that's not even on DVD. This is a Grey Misdemeanors, aka Nightlife, starring the kid who was in Critters and Critters 2. About a bunch of bullies that were picking on him, they get killed and turn into zombies and they start chasing him. 
Stat Grimes is his name. Let's see. Show a few more. Oh. Film I remember seeing that when I was a kid, the Dirt Bike Kid, which I think this actually has a DVD and Blu-ray release. But yeah, I remember seeing this as a kid. It's been forever. Yeah, the Dirt Bike Kid. An early film by, I believe, Roland Emmerich called Ghost Chase. Actually starring, is it uh, Jason Lively? Yeah, who's in, I believe, uh, Night of the Creeps. Yeah, just a lot of really cool stuff in this. And again, if you just like flipping through a book that has beautiful artwork, like this is Waxworth too, but overseas they call it Lost in Time. But look how cool. This artwork is again. This is Waxwork too, but overseas just called the Lost in Time moniker. But that is a really cool cover. Eyeballs popping up, which this happened in the movie. Just really cool stuff, man. And stuff that make you laugh like this. Like this makes me laugh. Forbidden Justice. The I yeah, I'm gonna be ya. And his arms bent backward from someone from behind, like, will you mind enough to fight with me? Will you mind enough come and take your best shot, pal? I could take it. My ribs about ready to poke out into your eye. Forbidden justice is like is this gonna be a fight scene or a game raid. I just, yeah, I don't know how many times I can say the same thing. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. But it is cool. A chilling and permanent solution, The Sisterhood. I haven't even heard of this movie. That's you know, I, overseas they changed some of the names of the movies. I already said that already. That's right. But she's a really cool, just uh, a cool book. If you like VHS covers, this is well worth a look, and yeah, well worth owning. And again, I hope, I hope. The, we're going to we'll get more of these. So I, it's not even much of a review, really. It's me just showing what it is. So yeah, it's not really a review. It's like, look what I got. Let me just show it to you. <clears throat> My thoughts. Very cool. Couldn't recommend it enough. If you're a fan of VHS covers, if you're a fan of that actual artwork this is well worth the purchase all I can say is I wish there would be one for the US meaning I mean this was released in the US I'm just saying of US video cover arts but I'm thinking maybe copyright with studios the more lenient maybe in the UK VHS tapes than they are in the US I'm sure probably in the U.S. you had to deal with more asshole studios. Because I know that there are times where the U.K. is separated from the U.S. But it's still the same studio. Well, it's just like why some DVDs get features here and not there. Or there and not here and vice versa. But I would love to see more. And not <laughs> There's a picture of the, real, the really cool cover art in the U.K. I would love to see more of these. Even if it's just the mundane, mundane, said the word wrong, mundane cover art. I wish this would be like a a series of books. Because I, I'm just repeating myself right now. Anyway, I'm just going to end it. I'm repeating myself. But anyway, 
Thank you once again, John, for a very wonderful gift. Thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you in the next video. Later.